This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Very special guest today, Mr. James English. Does this feel weird? I know you've been interviewed a few times, but still yeah, a little weird. Sitting at the cross. Yeah, I'm used to asking the questions, but it's good, mate. I don't mind that. Well, I've got you on today because uh, you're here with Josh Taylor. Just uh, filmed uh, a podcast. How was that? Great, mate. Great guy. So, obviously, world champion. One of their own from Scotland. So, everybody's been asking me to get him on for the last year. And he's got big fights coming up, so yeah, Ramirez fight I think's next. Yep. So he can be undisputed, I think, since uh, Ken Buchanan, mm -hmm. which has never been done before, so that's mega. And uh, he's loved in Scotland, so yeah, it was good to get him on. Well, before we talk about more uh, the other episodes you do and kind of who you film and how the podcast has grown, and you've grown as well, yeah. do you want to talk about uh, the fighters that you've had on? Because it seems like boxing takes a, a quite a big segment on your podcast is that fair to say yeah. professional fighters right yeah, now yeah, yeah yeah definitely it's a massive sport so you kind of get one on one box and then the rest come same as if it's crime you do one i'm building a platform where everybody wants to get on i've had josh warrington on tony bellew uh crawler uh carol frampton it's all legends in their own right all world champions and all great guys all fucking crazy if i'm honest but all great guys so when you're Picking a fighter, obviously there's a, a huge array of fighters in the UK uh, who are professional. How do you kind of narrow it down? Because as you said, you've picked Carl, picked Josh Taylor, Josh Warren. How do you narrow it down to who you want? You don't. They, they kind of, at, at that stage now, people contact me. So, uh, Frampton um, posted up that he was watching one of my podcasts and that's how it kind of went. Josh Warrington as well. Um, I got Tony Bellew through a mutual friend, Tony Morell. And then it just kind of goes from there. There's no, doesn't matter world champion or not, I'll have, it's always a, to do with the story. Willie Lemon, who's a good friend now, who's on the podcast right at the start. I've done 150 podcasts, only five, six have been fighters, but obviously when you start doing more, the door will open for more to come in. But I don't mind that, boxing's a mega sport. Mm. So happy to have any boxer on to tell any story. What's been your background then, uh, before you got into this uh, podcast, what was what was you doing, James? Yeah, Glasgow boy, kind of local Dell boy, was always wheeling and dealing, uh, party boy, drink, drugs, gambling, kind of never have anything, kind of lost for many, t for many years, then I started changing, stopped drinking, stopped taking drugs, and you kind of, your focus changes direction, and then I just started deciding I want to interview people, and then here we are, one of the biggest podcasts in the UK. How long do you reckon it took for it to really take off your podcast? How long did it take? I reckon now, so just okay. over two and a half years, just the last three, six, three months, six months. I've done 150 guests, so it's nearly three years. Three years this year it will be. So it's a lot of guests, it's consistency, but now it's, it's getting the recognition I believe it deserves. Now all the big names are wanting on, and rightly so. Um, I believe I'm the best at what I do. No, no offence, mate. <laughs> no, listen, you're, get, you're blowing up uh, across uh, YouTube and obviously other various yeah. um, kind of platforms as well, Spotify, Apple as well. But I think because they're on camera, you're on camera, it's best suited to YouTube. Is that the feedback uh, that you normally get as well? Because we can actually see you as well as talking. Yeah, you, I, I feel as if I can interact with the guest. A lot of my stories are quite deep, quite personal. So I can feel the emotion, I can feel the energy and we can take it on a journey. So... I believe it's best on camera. Plus, I've got to think revenue as well. You can make money from YouTube. You can get sponsors. I'm not daft. Now it's starting to come into a business. Now I can have an income. I can have staff. And I'm just going to take it in new heights. I'm just about to level up again this year and show people what can be done with hard work and belief that anything is possible. And I'm just a kid from the streets of Glasgow who's now created, I believe, one of the biggest in the world. I'm sure you're sick of uh, to death of this question, but what has been your favourite podcast so far? To be fair... I'm not trying to sit in the fence with, but there's been so many in their own right, so many different stories, different backgrounds, a lot of emotion, a lot of my guests seem to cry, a lot of them leave everything kind of on the table, but there's been so many, it'd be difficult to pick just one, and that maybe I'm sitting in the fence because I know a lot of people might watch this, and they might, I want a lot of people on for a part two, so I don't want to ruffle a few feathers, but genuinely, there's been so many, I believe I've walked away and done, wow, that's powerful, it's very tiring as well, because there's so much emotion gets put into it, but I love it. James, of course, on our channel, uh, two of the biggest names that hit for us is, uh, is pretty obvious, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. 
I mean, whenever we stick them on on the channel, it just explodes. Have you tried to either get Tyson or Anthony on uh, on your podcast? Of course, man. I try. You mess messaged them last year, and but you're kind of just starting to blow up yourself. But I believe I'll have the two of them on this year. I'm very confident. I've got a list, a goal set every day, and I always have lists of people who I want on. Um, Josh Taylor being one of them. Now he's on this year, 2021. But I believe I'll have them both on at the end of the year. I believe I build a platform so big that everybody will want on to tell their story. So yeah, they're, they're a target. Same as every major name that's out there at the top of their game is on on my list. I, I believe if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Is there plans to take this to the US as well, perhaps? Yeah, I'm going to America this year. I was supposed to be going at the, the end of last year, but obviously with the coronavirus, things are in a standstill. I'm going to Argentina. I've got Pablo Escobar's son coming on. Go to America. I've already got 15 guests booked in. So we go to America, hire a car, drive around that, do my guests. The plan is to take this global. Obviously, I need to work on my accent a bit more, slow it down, but I'm a working process. Things take time. Pablo Escobar's son, yeah, yeah. That, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, Juan. So, yeah, definitely. These are the guests that people want to see, and I'm not daft. Crime sells. Like, I could have the most famous person on this planet, but I could have Joe Bloggs from The Corners been in prison for 30 years, and his views could be bigger. Everybody on Netflix loves the true crime stuff. Mm. I know the crime stuff sells. That's my main audience, but I want to mix it up. It's obviously anything goes. I have mixed it up, but it's um, we go to Argentina right into the Lions Den, and interview Juan, which will be very interesting. Obviously, his dad being one of the biggest drug lords ever. This, apparently, he's a really nice guy. Um, but, yeah, I'm just taking things to new heights, and guests like this opens doors. I've got Dan Bozerian coming on as well. People kind of moan, why are you having him on, this and that. These men are mega. This takes my stuff to new heights, new levels, and like I say, I'm here to level up. I'm here to take over the game. I'm making interviewing look cool. I'm taking things to new heights. I, oh, I get paid to interview people. It's amazing that something that you can create from nothing to then opening new doors and just taking things to new heights, man. Yeah, I'm buzzing for it. I wish you all the best. As I said, it's uh, kind of blown off. I think you just admit it's kind of just taken off now as well. Yeah. So uh, God knows what's going to happen uh, this year with some of the names you just mentioned to me. What about just out of interest before we go, the promoters such as uh, Frank Warren, Bob Arum, Eddie Earn, mm -hmm. you're going to try and look to get them on as well? Yeah, I'd have every one of them on. Definitely. That would be, be suicide not to have any of them on. If they want on, they're here. So yeah, Get on the phone, pick up the phone, let's go, let's go. But Eddie Hearn's legend in his own right. Bob as well. They're all Frank. He's obviously got reputation as well. So they've all got great stories. And it, as I says in the start of the interview, as the podcast grows, these people will want to come on. Somebody's always got something to promote, whether it's a fight, a book, a documentary. So it works both ways. It's a platform. The platform's hitting millions of views per month. So I can have people, have, it's a win-win for both. Try and get Eddie and Frank on at the same time, eh? Yeah, I would love that, man. <laughs> Obviously, the, the heat there. That's I kind of want to change it up. Like, people interviewing that, I, I, I've got plans for this year to how to put the mix in and how to change the game a bit and just take it down a different avenue. Like, podcast game, I feel as if everybody's starting them. But I'm glad, man, because then they'll realise how hard I work, how hard yourselves work as well, that how far you have grown this channel, the names that you've got on, it's unbelievable. But this is the beginning to what I'm going to do and actions speak louder than words I can only prove to people that you can always talk and talk but I'll prove to people what I can do Listen James good to finally get you on IFL first time I believe and uh, wish you a, a massive 2021 which it seems like from what you're saying it will be and um, yeah we look forward to all the upcoming podcasts alright Thank you brother Thank you God bless What's up man James Good